It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from New England Brewing Company. And this is a can of their Hop Pressure Galaxy and Cashmere Hazy IPA. It's a 375 milliliter can coming in at 6.8% ABV and 50 IBUs. Sent by the wonderful, wonderful Mick in Australia. Thank you, Mick. Really appreciate this, mate. Let's look at the can. Without further ado, let's get this can out into a glass and see what we get. I got a quick question for Mick because, or anybody else who's watching from Australia actually, um, the beers that I previously had from New England Brewing Company have been in either 440 or 500 milliliter cans. They're kind of hoppy beers. And I'm just wondering if anybody from Australia knows the reason why New England Brewing Company decided to go back into a smaller style can. Is it because people like to drink from these smaller cans or is it a cost thing? Uh, beer may sell better from a smaller can or... Ooh. That's the first time in 8,000, nearly 8,000 reviews that I've dropped a can or a bottle. Weird, it fell out my hand. It's like my hand let go of it. Odd, really odd. Um, anyway, apart from that ba embarrassing moment, we have a one to two finger white head. Hazy looking, straw colored IPA. As you rock the beer back and forth, you can see the carbonation chasing the head of the glass. It's my first beer, I promise you. I've not been drinking at all to, to just let go of a can of beer. <laughs> Sacrilege. Aroma. Whoa, that smells good. It smells really good. Hopefully I don't let go of it. That would be a tragedy, wouldn't it? Oh, passion fruit mango. Yeah, passion fruit and mango, I would say, are the kind of dominating flavours here. Mm. I think oats as well. I can smell the, the slight, the sweet, hoppy, malty kind of combination. It's, it's, it's a combination of passion fruit and mango. And then the sweet malts coming through, it's almost kind of sweetie in aroma. It smells great though, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. World class, world, world class beer, Stone the Crows. Oh. I'm going to start off with the mouthfeel. There's so much flavour, but I'm going to start with the mouthfeel because looking at the beer here, it's not suggesting that it's got a great deal of carbonation going on. Unless you kind of really rock it back and forth. You can see that carbonation chasing the, the head of the glass. But in the mouthfeel, it's kind of just enough to push the, the carbonation's enough to push the beer around the inside of the mouth for at least more of that flavour. And it's really lovely. It's a really lovely, very drinkable mouthfeel, but at the same time, it's got a bit of body to it. Peach. Mango, passion fruit. A little bit of tangerine coming through. Not so much, I don't think, your kind of your grapefruits and your lemons, this one. It's not kind of like that kind of acidic peel. 
it's more soft fruits coming through. With bags and bags and bags of flavour. Bags of flavour. Really, really good beer. I used to talk about the weather when it comes to kind of like talking about Australian beers. Because over here in the UK, when you think of Australia, you think of heat. You think of 35, 40 degree heat. And, and, and I used to talk about that in my beer reviews until I started to have some comments from you lovely Australian people who are, who are quite possibly watching who would say actually no we do get winters we get springs and autumns just like you but you only ever see uh, like extreme heat summers so I kind of like backed away a little bit from talking about the heat because I think it was upsetting a few a few people it, it, it's almost like um a stigma like uh, attached to Australians that they walk around with kind of big hats on with corks dangling down off with strings you know and and sweating and because you, you know when we were brought up we were brought up on kind of like neighbours and what was the other one home and away and you had, you had a lot of kind of Fosters and Castlemaine Forex adverts and they were always kind of like in dusty deserts and especially the Forex adverts Always like like boiling hot, and they were grabbing hold of a forex, and you know the back of the van was dangling over the back of the cliff type of thing, and they were standing on the front drinking a drinking a forex, going woof, it's hot type of thing. And I suppose that sticks. That sticks in our mind because that's what we've kind of been brought up to think. Um, so where will I drink this on a hot day in Australia? Yeah, marvelous. But I think. Also, spring, autumn, when it's slightly cooler, put some chicken on the barbecue, invite a few mates round, enjoy a few beers. It's a really good beer. I'm going to look for the, hopefully we've got some ingredients here. Um, ingredients, here we are, hops, malt, yeast and water. Contains yeast sediment from natural conditioning. Please keep refrigerated and drink fresh. Um, it's really fresh. It's, it, whenever these beers kind of hit, mix sends them over. Um, I just want to say though, there's no, there's no sign of oats. I, I, I can feel, almost kind of like feel the oats in the mouthfeel. I'm, I'm quite surprised there's no oats in this beer. It's got a lovely creamy mouthfeel to it. And then the hops under pressure this time. Uh, Galaxy Whole Hop Cones and Cashmere, a fluffy orange hazy pour. Holds dominating flavours of orange, grapefruit and passion fruit. With touches, pardon me, of melon, lemon and lime. The pressure's off. So, okay, the brewers are saying there's a lemon and lime flavour in here. Which I thought it was more the earlier kind of like passion fruit. And maybe melon touches that they're talking about. But they're even talking about grapefruit here. Which I, I quite clearly said on my own personal level that it doesn't it didn't kind of go along those lines of uh, a grapefruit or orange peel, lemon kind of like big citrusy flavours. It's more for me passion fruit and mango, but that's the difference in beer. That's the difference in palates. <coughs> that's the difference in what you drink and what I drink, and we kind of get very similar but slightly vague kind of flavours going on. And that's what makes beer wonderful, is that everybody tastes a beer and they try something and it's a little bit different from what the next man's drinking. Anyway, I've banged on about this long enough, I'm going to rate it. It's really good, great drinkability. I'm sure there's oats in here. It's got a great drinkability, but an almost kind of like creaminess to it, which I love. 6.8% ABV. Love that, love the kind of the ABV because it's drinking like a 5% ABV beer. Hop Pressure by New England Brewing Company. I like that. It's a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.